Hey everybody, Dave Giltner with Turning Science. You know, I've been helping scientists and engineers for many years now transition out of graduate school and into rewarding careers in industry. One of the ways I do this is visiting universities all over the world and speaking with students and postdocs about what working in industry is really like. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about some of the seminars and the workshops that I've created to help do this. You know, the private sector is an amazing place to build a career. There's lots of interesting challenges. It's very dynamic, very exciting place. But for those of us that have decided that the academic career path is not for us, sometimes the biggest challenge of our career is finding that first job. Unfortunately, academia doesn't teach us anything about what it's like to work in industry. And working in industry is different than academia in two really, really important ways. First of all, finding a job is totally different. If you go about finding a job in industry the way you would go about finding a postdoc position or a university position, you will likely not do well. In academia, you get a job largely based on your qualifications and your accomplishments. This is not true in industry. Getting a job in industry is all about how you can help the team that you are trying to join. And if you really don't know anything about their working environment, about how industry works, that can be pretty challenging to do. Second, the rules of success are very different in industry than they are in academia. If you go into your first job in industry with the same work habits that you had in graduate school or maybe as a postdoc, you're going to run into problems. I remember how challenging it was from when I was looking for my first job. See, I went straight into industry after my PhD. No postdoc, just jumped right in. But I came from a lab that was doing pure research. My background is physics, and I was working in a laser spectroscopy lab that did precision measurements. The projects I worked on included a precision test of special relativity and an atom interferometer that demonstrated the interference of matter waves. Very cool, very exciting, but very far from any kind of practical application. So when I decided to start my career in industry, it was quite a challenge. It took hard work, creativity, courage, and even some of my own money to pay for trips to go visit some of my target companies. But I did it. I managed to get my first job. And more than 20 years later, I've really enjoyed my career. I'm so glad that I worked hard to get through that transition. But I remember how challenging it was, and so I want to help you do the same thing. I've developed several seminars and workshops to help you better understand what working in industry is like so you can get out there and get that first job and do well at that first job in the private sector. One of my most popular talks is titled, How is Working in Industry Different than Working in Academia? In this talk, I break down the five most important ways that working in industry is different in the research environment that you were trained in. I use a lot of stories from my own career to illustrate these differences. And I give you several ideas for developing new habits that are so necessary for success in industry. Another popular talk is titled, How a Scientist Can Find a Rewarding Career in Industry. This talk is particularly helpful for people with a science background, and I built this talk directly out of my own experience as a physicist, covering many of the things I struggled with as I moved on from graduate school out into the private sector. Scientists are usually trained to become professors. Their training often assumes they'll stay in academia, and so they often have some unique challenges. What kind of jobs can a scientist get in industry? I don't have design skills like a lot of engineers might. Can I get a job? Will I enjoy working in industry? Is a job in industry really just a backup plan the way some of my professors seem to think? A backup plan for people who can't handle academia or can't make it as a professor? And of course the answers to those questions are, yes you can get a job and I will show you how, yes you will enjoy it and I will tell you why, and no it is absolutely not a backup plan. For those of us that decide we want to work in industry where we're building tangible things that people need today, it is an amazing career choice with more possibility than you probably have ever imagined. Well, I will teach you how to build that career. I also hold some interactive workshops. The most popular one is called Telling Better Stories with the Same Facts. This workshop is all about helping you learn to relay your graduate school experience in a way that is relevant to a hiring manager in industry. One of the big challenges of getting your first job in industry is that they would often like to hire somebody who already has industry experience. And if you haven't had a job in industry yet, you can't really change that. But you can help them see that your university experience is more relevant to their needs than they may realize. Stories are a great way to stand out. They make your experience relatable and memorable. I help students develop stories about their experience that hiring managers in industry will understand and relate to. I bring a few people up on stage and we talk through their experience and I help them identify things that will make great stories. We do it right there in front of the audience so everybody can see how it's done and begin to think about how they can do it for their own stories. This is my most popular workshop right now because being able to tell stories like this is so important to getting a first job. 
The workshops and seminars I've talked about so far are each about an hour long, and they're an introduction to some really important topics, but there's so much more to talk about. That's why I've developed a much more involved workshop I call Industry Boot Camp. This two-day workshop combines the topics I already listed with several others designed to help you better understand how to be successful in this new environment. I've added a whole section called Helping Your Manager, and this section includes lots of information about what your manager needs from you. Product development is not like research. What your manager needs from you in industry is very different than what your advisor needed from you in graduate school. I also added a whole section on helping yourself. This is where we talk about things that help you get a job, get promoted, and generally build your career in industry. We'll talk about how companies are organized, where you might be able to find a job within a company organization. We talk about important habits that you need to develop to be successful. We talk about how to communicate your successes in industry, because in industry, the data does not always speak for itself like it does in research. So that's my industry boot camp workshop. If you want a solid primer on how to survive in the world of industry from somebody who spent more than 20 years there himself, that's the workshop you want. So that's an overview of some of the seminars and workshops I've developed to help you learn how to build a career in industry. This is your best way to get a head start on designing an exciting career. I'd love to come visit your group and give one of these talks. We can also arrange a lunch or open Q&A session where you can ask all of your questions in a less formal setting. Many people find this really valuable and I do it quite a bit. Please go to my website at turningscience.com. There you'll find a speaking page with a contact form. Send me a message and we'll find a spot on my calendar. So thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing from you. Now let's get out there and turn science into things people need.